What did somebody say that made you think? This person is out of touch with reality. One of my relatives joined the Illuminati on Facebook. Um. Um. Facebook. He was really serious too and excited about it. I remember a while back I read a post about a man who refused to wipe his bum hole after number 2. Because he believed no man should have anything touch him there. Um. I remember vividly thinking how out of touch with reality do you have to be to have such a belief? I am still occasionally haunted by this stranger. I'm a 911 operator and had a man call 911. Because the internet at the hotel he was staying at got disconnected. I told him it was not a police issue and he would have to talk to the hotel staff and or just wait for it to reboot. He responded, not a police issue. This is criminal. If I unplugged someone's life support, isn't that a crime? Showed a parent the security footage of her 8th grader hitting a teacher. She claimed the footage had been edited. Sigh. Had a co-worker that noticed an items tag said made in Vietnam. She said, made in Vietnam? That's a place? I thought it was a war. Nobody has ever died from rationing their insulin. Nobody. My fill. That was an odd take of his, I'm still kinda puzzled over it. People have died doing almost anything. He didn't think they died from rationing something that costs hundreds of dollars per week though. My aunt is a bit into that. She's done really well for herself, but has forgotten that not all of us are retired engineers who play the stock market for funsies part time. She suggested Thanksgiving at my place one year. And I had to remind her that I lived in a 2 bedroom apartment and inviting around 15 people there wasn't going to work. I've genuinely heard someone comment on a homeless person asking why they don't just get a home. My old boss was railing on me for placing an order late and getting charged more after missing the early bird special, when I had been reminding her consistently for at least 2 months. Gradually increasing my urgency that she needed to make up her mind. She was yelling at me and then said, Dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign might not seem like a lot to you, but it is to me. This coming from the person who set my wage, signed my checks, owned four substantial homes, had millions of dollars worth of artwork, designer everything, etc. While I was living in a 250 square foot garden studio apartment with my partner, which flooded when it rained longer than two days, making her hundreds of thousands of dollars from sales, with no commission. Whoa, I didn't realize I needed that rant. Me. Telling someone I'm a type 1 diabetic. Rando. You shouldn't have eaten so much sugar as a child. Also. Are you still diabetic? P. A. At a checkup. Plus the limitless amount of cures people have for this incurable disease. Former roommate declared, I'm an only child. That means I don't have to be nice if I don't want to. There are a lot of older fugly apartment buildings near the house I grew up in. My friend at the time that lived a very privileged lifestyle, $200 300 plus weekly weekend dinners with the family, time shares over the place skiing and snowboarding trips, etc. She was like why would anyone want to live in these apartments? I would never. I was like, people that live there don't have a choice. Pretty much any time I see someone yelling at a Starbucks or other service employee. They come into a crowded shop, wave their big $5 bill around like a high roller, then yell at a 16 year old for making their coffee incorrectly. Lame. If you find yourself to be one of the people yelling at service workers, fix your own problems before telling other people what to do. Within a week or so of meeting my new roommate he without joking announced to all of us that he will have 20 bodies by the end of semester, as well as a rotation of girls that will come to him whenever he wants. Just made me think he watches way too much peen. He's still a virgin. Once got in an argument with a girl that people would rather die of starvation than eat something that's carcinogenic. I asked if she was seriously saying people would choose to starve to death over the course of a month than risk potentially developing cancer in a few years and she said yes. I asked if she'd ever gone an entire day without eating before or knew what that felt like. She hadn't. 
I'm a nanny and I've worked for some rich clients. Old money. These people know nothing about reality. The best one I heard was this family I was working 12 hour days for. Good pay. Terrible schedule. At one point I was bouncing their baby on my knee and the mum goes being a mum isn't that hard. I don't know why other women complain about it so much. While her nanny is literally caring for the baby. When my boss said my word is better than getting it in writing. I can think of several instances where they've promised something or given their word on only to later renege on the deal. I heard someone yesterday suggest that children should operate heavy machinery to address supply shortages. Turns out that guy happened to be the frickin' prime minister. Tried to tell me meth is perfectly healthy and natural, because the Nazis used it during World War II and that it's looked at badly due to people mistaking it for crack, a then word drug. Hard R2. This guy married my grandma. Um. NASA can land on the sun at night time. Some guy whose parents paid for his college tuition mentioned to a co-worker who has $107,000 in student loans say he should be able to pay it off in 5 years. Co-worker makes $23 an hour on 58s. I was involved in a non-profit for women in my last city maybe 2 years back. My ex, we were 27 at the time, was from a rich area of the state, and the mean income for this area was $31,000. A teacher talked about how 500 plus kids in her school were homeless. Abs how seniors would pool their money together to get a hotel for days or weeks at a time. I remember telling my ex about it. And how awful that's gotta be to be 17 and living with 10 others in a hotel. He said they're stupid. If they had any brains, they'd buy a house so they could get equity. The hotel is just them throwing their money away and not getting anything from it. He was 100% stuck that these 17 year olds, with no addresses, who are minors, can apply and qualify for a mortgage. I fussed at him and don't regret it because he is so out of touch with reality. Eventually he went on months later to say he talks down about other people and acts like he's better than everyone. Because he is better than everyone. Steven, you're dong. A friend of mine in college was absolutely shocked when I and several other friends pulled out our childhood hometown public library cards at dinner one night. She could not fathom that all of our families went to the library regularly when we were growing up and that this is an extremely common experience for a lot of people. When I asked her what she did when she wanted to read books growing up, she said my family just bought them all. Went to a super rich girl's house, she had had a baby 2 months prior, she had nannies coming in, and out maids and a little house manager plus PAs etc. And she was bragging about how she was back at work so soon and how she doesn't know how people can stand doing nothing for so long. My ex's mum believed that during Easter ghosts can travel between our world and the spirit world. She legit started seeing and hearing them. Because she thought her apartment and her spiritual personality attracted them. She hyped herself up so much that she had to leave her apartment for a couple of days and seek refuge at her sister's house. She didn't bring her cat with her. I suppose she thought the ghosts would feed him. Sophomore year of high school, in my biology class, this one girl got into a conversation about what causes the winter season with a teacher. And she goes, winter happens, because the sun turns cold, right? Honestly, I'm still having trouble processing that one, and it's been 8 years. My mother when she told me that no. My father did not do anything to me. Woom. He beat you so badly he killed my twin in your freaking womb. What are you talking about? I'm entitled to my opinion when presented with facts showing they were wrong. I got groped on a bus when I was at college and obviously was mega upset about the experience. Not long after two people who I thought were friends sent messages to each other I found out after they were shown to my by another friend. The one girl basically said that they thought I'd be the kind of person that would enjoy getting Shrekshly assaulted and went on to shoot talk me and joke about me being Shrekshly assaulted. Got away from them fast. That's your fault that I'm drinking. My alcoholic father. 
Billionaires and multimillionaires singing Imagine while sitting in their gigantic mansions largely unaffected by the pandemic. Whenever a disabled person shares their experience and a non-disabled person tells them how they can fix all of those problems. My aunt was bragging that her knee surgery cost her zero dollars because of Medicare. I said yeah, that kind of socialized medicine is nice. She the threatened to take me out back and beat my ass for saying that. My balls are extra big, because I need to pee. This is from a 23 year old man, who didn't know that pee isn't stored in the balls. People wonder why there isn't more eyewitness accounts of 9-11, because surely everyone just pulled out their phones? Itch please. Back in 2001 most people were still using 35mm film cameras. Camcorders were usually VHS and digital ones were not cheap in the slightest, and the US was behind the curve on cellular technology anyway. I was in the US a few months before 9-11 and even in New York people didn't understand what SMS was let alone had a phone compatible or were using it. My fiance is a doctor. I'm an engineer her and I grew up very blue color. We still have tons of student debt to pay off before we can reap the benefits of a good salary. Her friend, a doctor who was a resident when she was in med school, was talking to us about the new house she bought, and kept asking us when we planned on moving out of our shooty apartment and getting a nice big town house. She couldn't comprehend that unlike her, our parents aren't rich, and they can't buy a house for us in cash and let us pay them back interest free. I love her to death. She's a sweet friend we have known for a long time. She has done so much for us in terms of friendship and emotional support. But her mum was a successful surgeon. Her dad retired early after selling his successful business. 